today we are solving the problem on multi channel it is also called as abel baker problem and the question is cars arrive to the shop to service in the manner shown below that is as time between arrival is given here and the probability is also given for the time between arrival and uh, there are two car shops they are abel and baker abel works a bit faster than a baker perform the simulation for six callers and calculate the simulation table for the same distribution of service time is shown below the service time is given here and with the probability for abel and the service time with probability is given for the baker here okay and random digit for arrival time are given here random digit for service time are given here time are given here okay now before moving to the solution we are counting random digit arrivals and uh, write here and random digit service and we will write down okay these are 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 okay this will help you in solving the problem okay now we will move on this is the first step in solution that is distribution of time between arrival and the customers numbers can be known from the question that is 1 to 4 and the probability is given in the question for in time between arrival so we are writing the same and cumulative probability can be calculated as cumulative probability is equals to probability plus previous cumulative probability that is the first we write as it is that is the cumulative probability is equal to pre probability so the value will be same then we are adding these two and we'll get the answer that is 0.25 plus 0.40 then it will be 0.65 so we are continuing for the other two value and we will get the answer okay then random digit assignment we are here we are creating the intervals that is from 1 to 25 okay and from 26 to 65 and from from 66 to 85 from 86 to 00 okay next second step is to create distribution table for service time here we need Uh, service time probability cumulative probability random digit assignment for abel and baker okay in the question they are provided with a service time and probability for abel and service time and probability for baker separately so we are considering the table separately okay now the cumulative probability and random digit assignment can be calculated same how we are calculated in the previous step that is step 1 okay please follow carefully you will get the answer and uh, next the third step is to determine time between arrival here we need three column customer numbers random digit and inter arrival time okay random digit for arrival time are given in the question that is here random digits for arrival are given here we need to consider zero for the first arrival consider always zero in any problem you always consider the random digit for arrival as zero and so Here we are writing it as dash. Write down the other values and how many numbers of random digits those many customer numbers we need to consider. So one to six, they are zero to forty-two, they are six terms. So we are considering customer number from one to six. Okay, and uh, inter-arrival time can be calculated as uh, take. Uh, 
26 go to the first table and check where 26 lies 26 lies in the second row the so the value is 2 so we are writing 2 here the first we need to consider as dash only because it is dash and uh, continue for the other values you will get the answer and next moving to the fourth step here also random digits are given in the question so write down those here we are not considering zero that is only for arrival only not for the service time okay keep it in mind it is not for the service time okay now service time for able we will calculate and service time for baker we will calculate because they they are given in the separate so we are calculating in separate okay uh, now uh, take 95 for both and uh, check where it lies in a for able you check in the able column for baker you check in the baker column okay now take 95 and go to the able table here 95 lies in which row check that it will lies in the fifth row and uh, here 95 lies in sixth row so we are writing 5 here and 6 here okay you just calculate same for the other values you will get the result okay now in the fifth step that is simulation table we know inter arrival time and uh, service time for able and service time for baker and uh, and uh, arrival time can be calculated as take the first as it is 0 and then 0 plus 2 that is 2 and 2 plus 4 that is 6 6 plus 4 that is 10 10 plus 2 that is 12 and 12 plus 2 that is 14 okay consider the priority for able is higher than the priority for baker if able is free and baker is also free we will go to the able only because the priority is high for able and uh, the the probability is low for baker okay now the first customer arrival time is zero so able is also free and baker is also free the priority for able is greater so the first customer goes to the able not to the baker so we are putting dash here and uh, the time service begin at able for the first customer is zero and the service time for uh, first customer in the able is five and uh, the time service end at 5 so the for the time service end for the customer 1 is 5 ok next the caller delay means the customer waiting time this is customer waiting time ok the customer does not wait and uh, arrival time is also 0 so the first customer will not wait for service so the value is zero here and the idle time of a baker is five because uh, no one goes to the baker he will be idle up to the five okay so we are writing five here okay now second customer arrives at two as the first customer is in still process when uh, the second customer arrives at 2 then he he checks for first priority that is able he will go to the able and check the able is free no the able is not free at 2 so it, he will move to the second that is baker so the baker time service begin will be started at 2 so we are writing 2 here and service time is 3 for the baker at uh, customer 2 
so we are writing three and time service end for the customer second is five so we are writing five that is three plus two and be calculated by using the formula that is time service begin minus time service end this is for the current customer and this is for the previous customer okay now time service begin for the current customer for second is time service begin is 2 then the time service end for the previous customer is 5 that is 2 minus 5 is minus 3 you just neglect the sign and write the value here so the value is 3 for the second customer and you can calculate for others also okay now for the third customer third customer arrives at 6 so the time service begin is at 6 because the able is free after the first customer he is free and so uh, the service time for third customer in the able is 3 then the time service be end will be 9 and uh, he will not wait so 0 for the caller delay and you can calculate idle time with the formula next for fourth customer the fourth customer as I arrive at 10 and uh, the able is free because the fourth the third customer and at 9 only so the able is free now the fourth customer service time begin is 10 and uh, service time is 5 and the time service end will be 15 and uh, here we are putting dash because this customer will not go to the baker so we are putting dash there and uh, the this customer will not wait as he as the arrival time is equal to the time service begin so we are writing zero here for the caller delay and for the next customer he will arrive at 12 he will go to the able and check whether he is free no he is not free so he will move to the baker and uh, the time service begin will be 12 here and service time is 6 and time service end will be 18 adding these two okay next caller delay is 0 because at 12 he is arriving and uh, the service time is also begin at 12 so we are writing caller delay as 0 then the idle time can be kept with the formula and at the last customer arrives, arrives at 14 and uh, check whether able is free no it is not busy now he will move to the baker he will check whether the baker is free no it, he is also not free then who will gonna be first free the, the value of 15 okay the value is small he, he is going to end at 15 for the fourth customer only then the, he will go to the able only so the value is 4 the value will be 15 and uh, the service time is 3 and time service and uh, is 18 and we are putting dash here and uh, he wait for a 1 so we are writing 1 here he arrives at 14 the time service begin at 15 so the difference is 1 so we are writing 1 here for the caller delay and the idle time can be calculated easily with the given formula okay